Well, as we close in on the end of one of the most unpredictable years in stock market history, many baby boomers may be licking their wounds about now and looking for a bright side to any market losses they've absorbed. Investors may now be considering dumping some of their underperforming stocks in order to save on their 2011 taxes using the concept known as tax loss harvesting, which is the opportunity to deduct capital losses in the market to offset any capital gains you may have accumulated. A reminder here, if you have no gains, you can actually take a $3,000 loss against your ordinary income. Yes, I know selling equities that took a hit this year may seem like your best option, but before you do that, carefully consider the consequences should that stock start to recover. You need to be aware of what's known as the IRS wash sale rule, which stipulates you can't buy back an individual stock within 30 days and still declare the loss on your income tax return. So what strategy might boomers consider if they want to liquidate a stock and then take a tax break but still stay committed, at least in part, to that sector of the market? Well, here is the bottom line. You might consider selling recent loser stocks, such as banking stocks, for example, to harvest the tax loss. Then consider buying an exchange-traded or a mutual fund so that if that particular sector of the market comes roaring back, so too should the fund in that sector. This way, you still get to save some money by tax loss harvesting, yet you'll stay invested in an area you feel has the continued upside potential.